Hello bandits. Thanks to the folks at Creature Studios and Nacon, we've been taking a look at Session Skate Sim over on Nintendo Switch. Session Skate Sim is a modern take in the skating genre with twin stick foot controls to flick, spin and ride your way through the city. This one released for other platforms last year but it's making its way over onto the Nintendo Switch now. The new Switch version of course suffers from a hit in visuals but otherwise is fairly favourably replicated here on the portable platform. Using your sticks to control your front and back foot you'll need to twist and flick in specific ways to perform different tricks and grinds. There have been some tweaks here to the triggers for turning to make Session more accessible to those on the Switch platform. In addition, following feedback from launch on other platforms, the title now has a more in-depth tutorial system and has really eased the learning curve for new players. Session Skate Sim is rated by Peggy at 12 and above and by the ESRB as T for Teen. This is mostly based on some language as well as hints at drug use which you might expect from something in this genre. There's not much at all which is worrying in terms of blood or gore for little ones and the bad language is the only reason we found to keep things at 12 and above. Overall here it's getting a rating of notable caution due to that language however due to the sporadic nature it's one which we have been playing in front of our micro bandits. In terms of accessibility, Session Skate Sim is picking up a rating of intense. While it's a relatively laid back title, it is unapologetically a skating simulation. As such, tricks take time and effort to string together and land. The learning curve has been helped by new tutorials, but Session Skate Sim is far from easy. Luckily, it is possible to just skate around and hope for the best, but if you want to follow the narrative, you're going to have to have quick fingers. And because of this, Session Skate Sim is getting an accessibility rating of intense. And with that stacked up onto the rundown, our 5 point rating for Session Skate Sim here on Nintendo Switch. Gameplay 3. Session provides a very true to life skating experience but that does mean that a lot of the time it misses out on being a game. Landing tricks after you've been trying them for a while is incredibly satisfying but you're going to have to fail a lot in order to make that happen. In terms of skating sims we've not really found anything closer but that doesn't always mean it translates well into gaming territory. Visuals 2. Sadly, while we were expecting a drop in visuals, this one has gone quite far below what we were thinking of. Even in the menus, expect incredibly jagged edges, a ton of blur and a lot of unreadable text here on Nintendo Switch. In addition, skating at night can be nigh on impossible and lead to more frustration as you bang into things you couldn't have seen. Compared to the PC version as we have been here, the visuals do sometimes end up getting in the way of gameplay, which is a real shame. Audio 4 the laid back jazz is a strange move for a genre which has been obsessed with pop punk for decades. With that said though it does fit the gameplay well and it's probably helped us to not be quite so stressed when failing tricks for the 20th time. Narrative 3. The developers have added quite a lot of narrative here which provides a good tutorial experience which masquerades as a return from past greatness. Sadly the visuals do tend to break the fourth wall and immersion as people are speaking to you but it's nice that the thought was there to give a bit of story. Replay 3. There are a good number of different areas to travel around here, however the sim nature of the title means that most of them feel pretty similar and there's a lot of space where it's not possible to do tricks. The setup creator is quite good in these areas if a little tricky to use, allowing you to make your own runs in the absence of other ramps and ledges, and being able to unlock more of these as you go has been a nice touch. Overall our Pixel Bandits Cowabunga Dude level for Session Skate Sim on Nintendo Switch is a rather average 6 out of 10. This one has been fairly enjoyable and if you've played the title on another platform you'll pretty much know what you're getting into. Visuals have been a letdown sadly and have really hampered the score here making it hard to see where you're going and what you're doing. Additionally the poor visuals have dampened any love for the video editor function which can with practice provide some really nice clips over on other platforms. If you're really looking to grab something to play on the go, bear in mind that the visuals do make this one tricky and if you're looking for a skate sim to play around the house it might be worth looking at session on other platforms unless you're happy to take this large visual hit. As ever to provide this review and our common sense parents guide we received copies of session skate sim from the folks at Nacon. And that's all we've got for you today. Check out the extended review at pixelbandits.org for more information on this one. If you found this helpful, a like, comment, share or follow might not cost you anything but it really goes a long way to helping Pixel Bandits remain ad free and independent. Either way, we hope to see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.